Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Four Wide with Declan. As always, we will discuss NASCAR-related topics, so let's get right into it. First up, we have two NASCAR drivers suspended for for suspended indefinitely. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so Chris Hacker and and Jason White. So Chris Hacker. His latest NASCAR start came this weekend, no, this last Friday at IRP in the NASCAR Truck Series where he drove the 30 On Point Motorsports truck to, a, to I don't remember where he finished, but he did crash and that ended stage two. And Jason White, I don't know what Jason White it is. I didn't look far into the story, but both of them have been suspended for behavioral reasons. So they're in, suspended indefinitely, <clears throat> like, just like Cody Ware and Noah Gregson are right now, currently. Our second topic is a bit of a shocker. Casey Carden, road course ringer in the Arca Menard series, will attempt to make his Xfinity Series debut this weekend, driving the number 74 for CHK Racing. Carden has made... Uh, he He's made... And let me Car Carden has made a couple starts so far this season. From what I know, uh, I I've only I only remember one and that was the other road course at Mid Ohio where he had a blown tire which forced him out of the race early, driving the number 03 for Club Ra for Alex Club and Club Racing. And and he's also running the Arca race this weekend, so doing double duty, or at least attempting to do double duty, he will be driving the number 31 for Tim Goulet and Tina Goulet's team of Rise Motorsports. And the number 74 has been driven by Dawson Cram primarily recently, but it's nice to see Casey Carden in the Xfinity series finally. I know he is a road course ringer, but the problem is he isn't really in good equipment. Uh, he's driving for teams like Club Racing and Rise Motorsports, which are perennial backmarker teams in the Arca Series in 2023. And he's driving for another backmarker team in CHK Racing in the Xfinity Series. So I, I don't expect much of, much of him. I won't be surprised if he doesn't make the race. <clears throat> Because, just as I said, that CHK Racing Group isn't exactly the best equipment in the Xfinity Series. I know everyone there is working really hard to try and do whatever they can. But let's just see how he does this weekend. Hopefully he can make the race. I would be happy if he did. Our third topic is the new NASCAR game. It will be releasing on PCs and consoles on, NAS on September 15th, NASCAR Arcade Rush. So 75 years of power, 75 years of power is, <clears throat> is like, is like their thing. And what, and they're, and you can drive multiple different kinds of cars in that game. And you can race your friends on redesigned racetrack. You can race your friends or AI on, on redesign on NASCAR's greatest tracks reimagined. With like jumps and hills and windy turns and everything. NASCAR Arcade Rush launching on PCs and consoles on September 15th, 2023. Our fourth and final topic is the Watkins Glen Preview. So, the Cup Series. I have a few drivers to look out for. Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, two drivers that are really good at this racetrack. The only minus for them is that Hendrick really hasn't shown speed on the road courses this season. AJ Allmendinger, you know how Kyle Larson swept the weekend last year? Allmendinger finished second in both races last year. So he's maybe someone to look out for. Denny Hamlin got his lone road course win in the Cup Series here. Think back in, I think maybe... 2016, I think it was, that he got it done at Watkins Glen. Yeah, Truex won in 2017. He's been good on the road courses. He's someone to look out for. 
Those are my few drivers that can win this weekend. Or maybe bring in one of the Fords. Michael McDowell's really good on road courses. Same with Chris Buescher. Those two drivers combined have won the last three races. Now for the Xfinity Series. Cole Custer won two road courses this season. Kyle Busch is in the field. We know how good he is in the Xfinity Series. The highest finisher in this race last year was that wasn't a cup that didn't also run cup that day. So, so let's see my list here. So, so winner here in 2021. Maybe Ty Gibbs could get it done in the cup race. In 2020, there was no race due to COVID. 2019, the winner. The 2019. But Cole Custer and Kyle, Cole Custer, Kyle Busch, Justin Allgaier, Sam Mayer got it done at Road America. He finished second at Indy last week. So I have a couple drivers to look out for this weekend. And that's it for this week on 4 Wide with Declan. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and bye for now.